Doug, we were waiting for you guys. The governor wants to try out some toasts on you. I kind of like number three. You aren't supposed to tell him, Pete. Well, I'll shift him around so you won't know which is which. <laughs> oh, OK. Now, how, what do you think of this? To the president, who is forthright and courageous. Sir, it doesn't say anything. I mean, anybody can be forthright and courageous. Well, not just anybody, Clayton. I mean, Benedict Arnold, for example. He wasn't forthright and courageous. Well, why don't we just say that to the president? He's no Benedict Arnold. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I better stick to something traditional. Uh, sir, I've taken the liberty of making a list of topics for dinner conversation. Clayton, I'm perfectly capable of carrying on a conversation by myself. Yes, I'm very well aware of that, sir. <laughs> but you shouldn't miss the opportunity to demonstrate your knowledge of national affairs, perhaps a touch of foreign policy. You think I'm going to impress the president by reading off cue cards? No, a politician who can read is always impressive. <laughs> That's true. Governor. Governor? Yeah. May I take a minute of your time? Yes, of course. What is it? I'm afraid there's going to be one less person at your dinner party this evening. Well, I hope you don't mean the president. Uh, no, 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 sir. We have found a possible security risk on your staff. What? Who? Well, the person in question is Benson Dubois. Me? You've got to be kidding. There must be some mistake. I'm afraid not, sir. What's the problem? The problem is, we are trying to determine who you are. Well, as far as I know, I'm Benson Dubois. Oh? Army records indicate that Benson Dubois died in Korea in 1952. <laughs> 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 Agent McMullen, what you're telling us can't possibly be true. It's ridiculous. There's got to be a screw-up somewhere in Army records. That is one possibility. But for the time being, we have to assume that Benson Dubois is dead. Well, for a dead man, I've paid an awful lot of taxes. <laughs> Listen, I can vouch for this man. I've known him for over six years, and during all that time, he's always been a living Benson Dubois. <laughs> if he's not Benson Dubois... Who is he? That's what we hope to discover. Oh, come on. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> hey, you guys are acting like Benson's a spy or something. I'm afraid I can't comment on that, sir. <clears throat> no comment. You're in big trouble, Benson. <laughs> I'm not in big trouble. The guy who screwed up my army records is in big trouble. No, no, no. Let's calm down. Agent McMullen, uh, Tom, is merely doing his duty. Well, I'm tired of everyone doing their duty on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm simply following procedure. Listen, uh, Agent McMullen, Tom, whatever your name is, why don't we just check the FBI records for my fingerprints and settle this entire mess? You have an FBI record? My military records. Sir. Oh, right. We intend to run a fingerprint check. But in the meantime, we have to isolate you from the president. And we're going to have to confine you to your office. It's merely routine. Agent Bartlett will remain there with you. Oh, so I'm being sent to my room without dinner. If you'll come with me, sir. Now, wait a minute. Why would Benson pretend to be somebody else for 30 years? People have gone to greater lengths to topple the government. This is stupid. You don't actually want me to believe that this man died in Korea. Again, no comment, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, don't worry about it, Governor. I'll go on to my room without my dinner. But I can tell you one thing. If I died in Korea and this is the afterlife, it's damn disappointing. 